Now that I've stretched my triptych of my photo called Descending the New Stairs 1, I am ready to color it and I'm going to do that with acrylics. I made a glaze with burnt sienna and burnt umber and my golden gloss glazing liquid to um, color the beach and maybe the little life, the roof of the little lifeguard tower and the platform. For here I think I need it a little darker. Like I said, the beach and the platform over here. So these stairs lead down to the beach that's called Delmar Shores, which is in Solana Beach. And these stairs are relatively new. There were some older stairs that were taken down because there was like a lot of concrete rod. And then a couple of years ago they replaced them with these new stairs. And then they also added a little lifeguard tower, which is right there. So I'm using a, what's this, like half an inch brush, a flat brush. I prefer my flat brushes to, to color my photos. Acrylics have to be a little bit careful. You cannot go over the same spot too many times because it will actually get rid of the ink from the printer. That's why I think oils are a little easier you 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 cannot really remove the ink but it's also messier and stinkier because i have to use or i like to use a uh, liquid but it's very stinky and you need a lot of ventilation um, when you call your photos like that. Here I don't need any ventil ventilation. Of course I have to be careful not to go over the lines here. The ocean is going to be blue later. Here, a small beach.
I'm thinking of leaving the, the railing gray. I think I colored everything the light brown. And now we'll add a little bit more burnt sienna to the mix. to the wooden railing here. using the brush on its side now. I could take a smaller brush which I'll do in a bit but right now I'm too lazy to get up. to the other side. Fast enough, you can still wipe off a little bit with your finger. Okay, and then for the stairs, I'm going to add a little bit more burnt umber. Like you know, acrylic dries fast. These two parts here are about to dry now. But the, the liquid glaze ex extends the drying time. The acrylic medium extends the drying time. Okay, that's a good color for the stairs, I think. Do this with the big brush. So we'll first start here.
So I took an even smaller brush. Back to my larger brush. It's a pretty big triptych. It's 65 inches tall, and each panel is 17 inches wide. So framed in all, it's going to be about 54 by 67. It's looking pretty good. I need to make some more glazing for the bottom part here. Okay, let's add that burnt sienna. And burnt umber. I also like it a little bit more darker here at the bottom. Now we want to add yellow for the stairs, so again some acrylic medium, let's see that might be enough. I always have a hard time estimating how much I need of this, cadmium yellow. I could eat some more. Still think I could need more.
actually going kind of with the real colors of these stairs. There really is this bright yellow on them. because the yellow doesn't really show on that dark anyway. So I just go over it. I'm curious if I'm going to make it with my paint or if I need to make more of this yellow glaze. Looks like I might make it. contrast is yellow and brown. Actually, I see you forgot these here. Now I'm going to do the blue sky. I'm going to use I'm going to use phthalo blue for that. That's a very strong pigment, so I need to be careful to not to add too much. Although I would like a nice bright blue sky between the clouds. This is pretty bright, pretty saturated. So let's see how. That turns out.
Sometimes I care about where you can see the brush strokes, especially there, but I kind of let that go because now it's more obvious that this piece is actually hand colored when you do see the brush strokes. Okay, I think that's it for the sky. Well, maybe I'll do a very light blue just above the horizon. I'll need to add more acrylic medium. So I'll just grab some of the color here, put it in here, and I should make it very light. It's subtle, but it's there. So now, let's add some an ultramarine blue to the ocean. So add a little bit of red. This is cadmium red. Could be a tad darker, so a little bit of this blue. And more red. Okay, let's see how this turns out. So I want to add some green to the vegetation on the plus and I'll take chromium oxide green. That pigment is not that strong, so I'm actually using a lot of the paint.
So it's all finished already with floater frames on it. And as you can see, I have the gaps only on the outside, not on the inside, which ties it better together still. And if you like my video, please hit that like button. And also please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.